All right, gentlemen, this may seem like an odd pairing of two very different trucks. To my left is a 2012 Ford F-250 Super Duty, and to my right is a 2014 Ford Raptor, but they do have one important thing in common, Nathan. What is that? They're Fords. All right, you try. You go again. They're 6.2 V8s. That's right. They yes. both have the exact same engine, and so we're going to take them up the I gauntlet to not test the trucks, but to test the engine in a proper TFL truck mashup, and that... And that is going to be awesome. No, again. And that... That's going to be awesome, too. I don't know. What is no, it? and that is coming up next oh, on the Fast Lane next. Truck. So, as you probably know by now, the Raptor has a Ford V8, proper V8, 6.2 liters of American goodness. It puts out, get this, 411 horsepower and 434 pound-foot of torque. Now, that rear axle ratio is a 410. What you got here, Kent? Well, you grab more horsepower and torque. I do. How come? It's the same engine. Well, this is that three-quarter ton thing. You know, they, they figure this has got, uh, is going to be towing a load more often. Yeah. So this is going to last longer if they actually have, they detune them a little bit. So what do you got in there? This is 385 horsepower and 405 foot-pounds of torque with that 373 rear end. So it's kind of apples to apple issues. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> we both torque out at 4,500 RPMs, maximum torque. Now this, being a 2012, has no modifications to it. It's the engine's all stock. So is the Raptors. But the interesting thing will be the axle ratios, right? Because right. this will go up a little faster, maybe. But yours well, will eventually... You'll take off a little, a little better, and yeah. I'll go faster. So yeah, yeah. We'll see. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> maybe up to the drivers. sign for Dylan and Silverthorne, which means we're almost at the bottom of the Ike Gauntlet. Now the question is, how hot are those uh, front and rear brakes and the trailer brakes? What kind of trailer brakes do we have on this? These are electric. You know, we, we keep trying to adjust things. We're trying to get that balance of where we have the trailer helping the truck as much as possible. Stot rated? Stot rated? 130. 130. That's very good. Yeah. And let's see what the back wheels are on the truck. Voice Miss Dwa. Voice Miss Dwa. 82, nothing. That's like regular operating temperature. And yeah. now, if we did it right, those uh, trailer brakes should be very hot. They should be like 150. Really? To 200. All right, let's, I think. let's see what, let's see what they are above say. 150, I'll be happy. Ah, 66. How much is it, Andre? 860. 860. Oh my God, we had that thing turned up yeah, high. Oh no, 66. You guys happy now? Look what we did. <laughs> We just turned barbecued the back brakes. Up. <laughs> yeah. That's up. That's uh, what those brakes are grabbing. 66. Yeah, it did take Andre a while to get there. All right. Far out. Let's well, uh, I guess that next brake test will be on the Raptor to see if we can get it dialed in. All, All right. right. Up the gauntlet, gentlemen. Let's see how this Fairly thing does good. going up. We know how it did going down. I think it'll be uh, interesting going up. We are in the Ford F-250 taking on the Ike Gauntlet. 
Nathan, are you ready to start? Yeah. Here we go, now. We're in tow mode where everything's good. Now keep in mind, Kent, we don't want to exceed the speed limit. Okay. So maybe we'll do the speed limit the whole way up, in which case this will be more of a test of... Yeah, we'll get my top end in that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the speed limit? 60 or 70 or 80? It's uh, 60. 60? It's got a zero after it. Wow. I see some sign up there. Can't quite see it yet. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's six up. Boy, this thing got up to 60 right away. Yeah, we almost redlined there. I'm surprised it almost hit 6,000 RPM. Okay, now I'm at 60. All right, the truck is doing, uh, well, really well right now. Sounded good. 3,500 yeah. RPM. Yeah, that's good, good dunk there. Now, this oh. truck is normally aspirated, so we don't have a turbo to help us because we are at about nine to 11,000 feet above sea level. And this is a very extreme test of a truck's ability. Maybe not this truck's, but the normal truck's, because we're going from 11,000 feet, no, we're going to 11,000 feet at the top of the Eisenhower Tunnel, and that means about 30% less air density, which means what, gentlemen, we know it by now? Less horsepower. Less horsepower. Yes, less horsepower. Uh, and these normally aspirated engines don't benefit from a turbocharger. How's the room back there, Nathan? Really good. Very comfortable. I'm glad I don't have long, freakish legs. <laughs> you know, these trucks are so comfy and so roomy. I can see why people use these as family haulers. Even nowadays, heavy-duty trucks in some uses are being used as family trucks, like this. Yeah, we didn't have a full lane here to see that. They didn't plow all the snow off the road. I had to edge into the snow. Don't want to let the cattle out. <laughs> so we're getting better. Come on over here, Sam. We're getting better at actually loading the trailer. This time we've got just over 8,000 pounds with the trailer, which is the towing capacity of the Raptor. Uh, we've got water, we've got an ATV, and we've got these cinder blocks that we can remove to give us 8,000 or a little bit less. Um, so that we could really calculate the amount of weight that we'll be towing when we're doing this eye gauntlet. Hey Nathan, yeah. why don't you come on over here? Now you're yeah, you're in tow home, tow home yes, mode, Yes, right? tow home mode. It's in second gear now. It wasn't third. Now, you sure I can't go over 60? I got a radar detector. Oh, no, you can't go over. No, no, okay. we don't go over 60. Okay. This truck is having no issues with 8,000 pounds, but that's because the towing capacity of this thing is, what, 12,500? Yeah, right. So this should be child's play. So what exactly do we have in this trailer? Well, to get it to the 8,060, we've got a water tote uh -huh. that's you know almost 300 gallons. We've got a 605-pound four-wheeler ATV, yeah, and then we've got a bunch of center blocks in the back. To, and there's to, a dead horse back there too, right? Yes, one dead horse. Kidding, folks. Now, what else do you have here? This is something that's very important. It has to do with the hitch. Well, this truck, as a three-quarter ton, doesn't need a weight distributing hitch to pull 8,000 pounds. It does have a Class 4 hitch. Uh -huh. We are going to put a weight distributing hitch on the Raptor. It needs it after 5,000 pounds, and we're going to do all whoa, that. Whoa, 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 guys, there's no dead horse in the trailer, okay? I, I there's right. no dead horse. We took it out. No, we didn't oh. take it out. <laughs> okay, no dead horse in the trailer. Uh, and if you're wondering why the Raptor can't tow more with the same engine, it's basically due to the fact that the Raptor has a different suspension setup. Yes, it's a lighter frame, it's a different axle. You know, someday we'll talk about full floating axle and, and a uh, a semi-floating axle, but I have twice as many bearings in the rear axle as you do. Yeah, it's a towing rig, man. Yeah. Uh, how's your fuel economy? Well, instant. my instant one show now is 2.6. 2.6. 2.5. You're, you're flogging this forward up the hill. Yeah. All right, Ken, let's see how much this thing is going to squat. Now, this is going to be interesting because I do have auto flex air suspension on that. It's basically the only modification I did to this. So, so this is not, not going to squat. squat. <laughs> the tires, when the tire pressure, the tires will move a little bit, but that's it. The suspension stays the same height, loaded, empty, whatever. Oh, he's showing off now because the Raptor is going to squat a lot. <laughs> yeah, the Raptor could be. That's why we got the weight distributing hitch. We're going to make it safe. We're going to make it level. And let's face it, uh, 6.2 liters of Ford power is a lot of power. These are, yeah. these are big, heavy-duty trucks designed to haul. Uh, and I recently read a study that says that most people who have heavy-duty trucks actually do use them for hauling, right? Right. That's why you would spend the extra money. Actually, you compare this to a similarly equipped half-ton, they're very close in price. It's that diesel that throws off those heavy-duty trucks yeah. in price. So a lot of times, you know, you're, it's a very good value to go to this size of truck. You can get more axle ratios. You've got a heavier frame. You've got a heavier suspension all the way around. So it all depends, you know, it's, uh, 
but usually it's not a deciding factor, the price between a gas engine three-quarter ton and a gas engine half ton. Yeah, well, that's why it's got the big Super Duty right here. Nathan, the, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, I was going to say that. And you can get cowboy chicks with this truck. You can get yes, awesome. they, like, they like the taller trucks, they that's for do, sure. They do, and they like big, big trucks. Put the cowboy up and drive it in one of these. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's, it's pretty loud in here. Let's see how loud. No, not too bad. About 72 decibels. Yeah, and that was about 5,800 RPM. We're almost redlined. I'm surprised that we are at this point. That car just took my slot. Yeah, you're gonna lose a little bit of momentum here. NASCAR racing here. These little guys are zipping along us. Look at this truck. He's just trying to squeeze. Uh, he it. wants to. He doesn't yeah. know who he's dealing with here. <laughs> he's got it's right. He's got an Iron Man sticker. Man. Yeah, look at his bumper. He can probably <laughs> push this around, but he's not going to. <laughs> oh, you lost the momentum, but that's all part of the eye gauntlet. Sometimes traffic has a role to play. Let's face it. Yeah. Yeah. You've got the Mr. Truck logo. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of like the TF, the, the fast lane truck's new new test truck. They've got such a big logo. And I thought, you know, six years ago this truck had a small logo. Right six here. years later, yep. now we've actually got uh, a logo that's three times bigger. So I thought if Ford's going to make a billboard out of my grill, they should like pay me a royalty or an advertising fee. So why not advertise Mr. Truck? So there they are. Apparently we have the police here. I better go talk to them. Okay, but I think we're delaying traffic. And really, we're not per se trying to race up this hill. We're just trying to see the difference that a heavy duty truck with an identical engine in a light duty truck. Right? That's really what this match yeah, is about. Yeah. So you're doing 60 miles an hour in second gear. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty phenomenal. And that's high RPMs. Yeah. I, I almost wish I could go to third, but we're all about speed here. And, and the price, of course, is, is fuel economy. What do you yes. get? Uh, it shows me 2.7. <laughs> Ford has recently upped the towing level on the Raptor to 8,000. So yeah, I think I think they're confident in their setup. So uh, we'll see. I guess we'll really see. Do you feel like uh, this is one of those situations where the trailer is actually causing a lot of stress on this truck, or is it just no? It's it's what I've noticed in this truck, and I pulled several trailers with it. You know, that's that's the difference between gas and diesel. The gas it takes all they they have to hold that momentum because the torque range is so much different. Well, this, this doesn't go to full torque until 4,500 RPMs. That's very high in the band compared to, say, an EcoBoost. That's 2,500 RPM. Nathan, you know? I, I think all those... fly, there's a fly. <laughs> I think all those stickers are going to slow Kent down, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're coming to the top, dude. All right, tell me when. I'll tell you when. How's it looking right now? Uh, Fast. 809. 809. I'm 56 miles an hour, so... Watch out, you, you got to... Yeah, 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 we're going to lose same. it all right here. So, and this little guy behind us is going to have to tap out. Yeah, that's going to give the Raptor a little opening here. Okay, here come the lights right about now. Okay. Yeah, that engine screamed all the way up. What's the number, dude? 828 65. All right, Kent, what was our combined MPG going up the Icolid? Just 2.8. 2.8. <laughs> That's because this thing was screaming like a little yes. girl. Yes, it was. We were over 5,000 RPM most of the trip, which very much surprised me. I thought that we would be lower than that, and it wouldn't stay in second gear most of the time. I think I hit third once, which surprised me. I say it screamed like a banshee, not a little girl. <laughs> a mean old man. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a little partial to the Raptor. And speaking of the Raptor, what was our time, Nathan? Do you recall? 8.28. So the question is, can the Raptor actually beat 8.28? And are we going to show them right now? Oh, no. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make you come back for that because that's the way we roll at the fast lane truck. No, it takes a lot of time to edit these videos, and we try to get them up as fast as possible, but we're using like five cameras in the shoot, so it does take some time to edit them. So as soon as we can, we'll get that video up. As always, this is Roman and Nathan and Kent. Saying if you're gonna pick up chicks, use the Raptor. <laughs> We're gonna get cowgirls in this. Yes, yeah, so unless you're looking for the cowgirls and rednecks, you take my yeah. If you want to watch more Ike Gauntlet videos, go to the Fast Lane Truck. See you guys next time. Ciao, man. You are a fast driver. Well, I keep pulling it back. I've been hitting the brakes. Mm -hmm. A couple times it gets ahead of me. We don't want to use that runaway truck ramp. I'm telling you, we oh, don't want to go up there. Why not? Because we'll never get this thing off of it. That yeah, would be hard to back off that mountain. That's for sure.